Tip of the Sphere, the new album from Cass McCombs, is out on February the 8th, 2019, on Anti Records. Observe its design, which was created by Tahiti Pearson. There are three editions of Tip of the Sphere. In each is included an insert, an alteration on the renowned Dream Machine created by Brian Geisen, William Burroughs and Ian Somerville, which we call the Castillo de la Esfera, because its size and specifications are different from the original design and deserved a new name, although its purpose is similar, to alter the user's senses through light and motion. We encourage you to do your own research into the history of the original Dream Machine and all the wonderful literature and art from which it was born. The purpose of this video is to instruct you on the assembly of your Castillo de la Esfera, located inside your copy of Tip of the Sphere. Here we go. Number one, carefully remove the Castillo de la Esfera from the Tip of the Sphere LP packaging. Number two, roll the paper into the shape of a cylinder and line up the tabs. Number three, insert each of the three tabs into their corresponding flap. They should fold underneath each other to form a perfect cylinder. Number four, place the Castillo on the center label of the LP on your turntable. Place your turntable's needle onto the LP. Watch the Castillo spin as the music begins to play. Apply a light source to the exterior of the cylinder. Experiment with shadows. Number five, optional. Suspend the light source in the center of the Castillo. Use a smaller bulb so there is more distance between the light and the Castillo. The light should be roughly one third to halfway down the Castillo de la Esfera, and care should be taken to ensure that it does not touch the turntable or the Castillo when in use. Use caution when placing the light bulb inside of the cylinder, as the light bulb can get extremely hot and the Castillo, being made of paper, is flammable. You may find that as it rotates, the Castillo may migrate away from the center, so keep an eye on it so that it doesn't touch the paper. If you don't secure the light source, it could fall onto the LP, melt the wax and destroy the LP, or possibly start a fire. So be careful, the light source should never touch the Castillo. And while you're observing these safety precautions, don't forget to dream. These same instructions are also printed inside the artwork of your LP jacket. What is a tip of the sphere? What is your tip? Before we go, let's discuss the three different editions of the album and what makes each one unique. First, the standard LP edition. It looks like this. As is with all the art on this record, it was designed by Tahiti Pearson and includes the Castillo de la Sfera insert, a dream machine of sorts that can be placed on the center label of the record, which will spin round and round as the music plays. Next, the deluxe LP edition, which includes three bonus tracks, Root Hog or Die, Confidence Man, and The Open Door. The cover art is debossed, a lyric sheet, the Castillo de la Sfera, Lastly is the tippy top of the sphere, Limited Deluxe LP. It features a double-sided laser cut alternate cover that allows you to see right through. The three bonus tracks, Lyric Sheet and Castillo de la Sfera. Dream, Tip, Slip, Spin. Help me Armageddon, help me Armageddon and I'll help you with your song.